Okay, so there's, in my line of thinking, mystery mirror stimuli, or mystery reflection stimuli, or whatnot. Um, but not everything. I mean, not everything, not every stimuli in the universe is such a such a stimuli that like might be a curse upon you at a high level of things or a blessing upon you at a high level of things depending on what your state or like mindsets or how you are like not everything will be <laughs> not everything is that type of stimuli, stimuli but I think if there was an eternal book in the world that it might be like that or that it should be kind of like that like kind of a mirror in some way or like like it won't just straightforward easily just tell you everything about life um, but besides such a hypothetical eternal book which the bible is supposed to be not that people think of it in that terminology I just came up with that term not that it's crazily creative but um so maybe someone's called it that, but um, but however many such stimuli there are in the world, they wouldn't be a pure, not all of them, if any of them would be a pure soul reflection of you. Like I brought up women, for example, or men, maybe. They're also a, a reflection of the world that they've lived in. So if you look at like living stimuli or not living stimuli, um, like a rock, like it's shaped, like it's affected, it's shaped by the world or like what it's been in or like what it's endured, something like that, like its environment. Um, So even even for non-living things, the world is what certain stimuli will be mirroring. And then like a woman or a guy, like they may mirror you, but they're also going to be a huge product of what they've gone through in the world so they mirror the world they mirror the culture they mirror their upbringing their parents or something um but as far as an eternal book even it would follow this mirroring to some degree like if looking at the bible there's translations there are translations to english to better understanding within english um And then, like, the mind of the people interpreting in their translating to English or maybe especially if they're trying to, like, better translate it to, like, translate it even within English to even better understanding. The filter then is, like, a person in a way. <laughs> and then, like, the Bible's supposed to be, like, holy or like infallible or something like that's what somehow like that somehow essentially got in my mind however that was Christian upbringing I guess or something but um but like it had to be like let's say certain things were observed like at least the the four gospels like are they not like people's testament or witnessing or experiencing of Jesus if it's through a person's perception does that not have fallibility is that not like filtered through you does it so can will it not I mean if it's your perception or the four people's perception or I mean I think four gospels so four people more or less but 
I mean, unless within one or more of those Gospels, there's a point or points where they're saying someone else's perception. I don't, I don't know. But, like, that's going to be filtered through their, like, through their lenses or, or like, and maybe like what level of knowledge they've gotten to or what conformity their culture has given them. Like if it ran through people, if the experiences ran through people in the four gospels and however much of the Bible, if not all of the Bible, like that's going to have potential. I mean, for some reason there's this thing where like, and I have it where like the Bible is just this like perfect book or infallible or something. But like, if you think about 